When life closes in praise, seems the pain won't end. It touched a lot of things that you experienced while being a preacher's kid and how you have to deal with different expectations from different people. We have to let our children grow and, and, and give them that space because if not, then they kind of rebel. I'm leaving. That's what you say. What does God say? I saw myself doing some of those things. It shows parents that they can't do God's job. You can't smother your kids. You got to be able to let your kids live. Did you hear me? You're not going anywhere. You, know you walk out that door, never step foot in this house again. I'm so far away from. I myself am a preacher's kid. I was able to kind of relate to a lot of the situations that the girl uh, went through. It really demonstrated the pressure that, say, our children have to deal with. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm a PK, remember? A what? A PK. A preacher's kid. Sometimes you don't want to walk in that shadow because you have to be that perfect kid, so you tend to find your own way as being a preacher's kid. We've all made mistakes. We all struggle. But ultimately, isn't it all about coming back to the Father? I've been a preacher's kid for 35 years. My children are preacher kids' children. It just really captured the essence of what young people experience in church. My father always told me how much he loved me. I am not what you say I am, but I'm what my father says I am. Daddy, can I please call? I'm a preacher's kid myself, so I understand how she feels. And it's always good to be able to go home, even after you messed up. We all make mistakes, but yet and still, no matter what our mistakes are, that God still loves us, and that we can always come back to his arms. Can I come home tonight? Tell me everything will be all right.